Well, in the last few weeks, I have practiced a lot of cricket and trust me, I've kind of polished my skills. But I personally feel that I'm much better at cooking. So today I thought in the last episode of Taste Match, I'll show you Russian cutlets. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varnanamdar and welcome to Get Curried. Let's begin. <laughs> Well, Russian cutlets generally need a lot of mise en place. When I say mise en place, it means it needs a lot of pre-preparation. Well, I've done almost all of it. I'm just left with capsicum. I'm just chopping it nice and fine. And then I'll quickly run you through all the ingredients that are pre-prepped and kept ready. Our capsicum is chopped and ready. So are the carrots. We have shredded boiled chicken, chopped onion, boiled and crushed potato, some coriander leaves, ginger garlic green chilli paste and finally a roasted vermicelli is also crushed and ready. Now let's move quickly into the recipe. For this let's heat a pan on high flame and to this I'm going to add in some vegetable oil. Let's add in the chopped vegetables in this case capsicum carrots and red onions and saute this till it just kind of turns translucent. It's important to cook this and also at the same time retain a little bit of its bite. Time to add in refined flour and ensure that this now gets a wonderful nutty aroma. The refined flour is cooked and done. Let's add in some cold milk. We need to cook this on high flame and this is also one of those very simpler tricks of making the sauce as well as cooking the vegetables at the same time. Now, classically or technically, this sauce is not a bechamel because of course the proportion is very different. Technically, this is called panada. So, if at all you're making these as two separate components, you first need to saute the vegetables, bring them out and secondly make panada. But this way, I've simplified the process only for you. And next to this, I'm going to add in Bula. <laughs> our vegetables have perfectly cooked and our panada, which is the sauce, has also cooked well and allow this mixture to cool down completely. At least let it come down to room temperature. Just spread this or smear this across the walls of the bowl and this way, it will start cooling faster. Now that this mixture has come down to room temperature, let's start adding in the rest of the ingredients. In this case, shredded boiled chicken, mashed potatoes, chopped coriander leaves, ginger garlic and green chilies, and finally some salt as required. Let's mix all of this together and keep this aside. The next, is to break an egg in a deep plate. Let's season these eggs with a generous pinch of salt and whip this up with the help of a fork. The eggs are whipped and ready. Let's move into the third component here and which is the vermicelli. Let's crush this even further. Vermicelli is crushed and ready. Let's move in to the second last step and that is shaping the Russian cutlets. Let's take lemon sized dollops of this mixture, turn this into a round ball and drop this into the egg mixture. Finally, we'll drop this into the vermicelli which is crushed and ready and at this stage I'm going to pat this like so ensuring that it gets crusted on all its sides. Let's place this aside and similarly, let's start making in some more. With this, our Russian cutlets are shaped and ready. The next step is equally critical and that is keeping this refrigerated for 15 minutes minimum. Our cutlets are refrigerated and ready. Time to fry these. Now, traditionally, these are deep fried but I'm going to shallow fry these.
After a minute on high flame, time to give this a very gentle flip. They have to be crisp and golden brown on the outside. The vermicelli, please remember, is pre-roasted. In case you're using the vermicelli in its raw form, the frying time, of course, will increase, do remember. Now, these Russian cutlets are fried and ready. Time to transfer these on an absorbent tissue paper so that all the excess oil is drained away. And these crisp hot cutlets are served best with tomato ketchup. And just before I wrap up, a note of caution. Do not attempt to make these right towards the end because I understand all of us are excited towards the finals. This needs to be made in advance, frozen, and just when you want to add that zing to your match, fry these and serve with ketchup. On that note, let's watch the finals together.